everybody, welcome back and today I'm going to show you a new development board. It's called the Orange Pi Zero Plus H5. Basically it's a kit and it's an upgraded version uh, of the Orange Pi Zero board. There are basically about three different uh, boards, very similar. One is the H2 Plus based uh, SOC, the other is the H3 and the H5 which is this one and the H5 is a, also a quad core based uh, SOC like the H2 Plus and the H3 but it's a 64 bit based one based SOC and the GPU is a bit powerful compared to the H2 Plus and H3 because it uses a Mali 450 uh, MP4 meaning it uses a 4 cores GPU it's a quad core GPU compared to the other boards that use the Mali 400 MP2 which is a dual core uh, much lower level GPU so anyway that's the latest one and you can buy it as a kit or buy the item separately so what you have in the kit first you have a nice case very, very compact case high quality with the logo of orange Pi. very cute you have all the interfaces here and venting slots here very high quality so that's the case of course you have a cover here you can open and you have the screws here and a 3M sticker I'm not sure for what it, uh, the usage for it but I'll leave it alone for a second and of course you have the boards first let me unbox it and show you the board so this is the board, the H5 and I'll do a quick, a quick zoom to show you how it looks like okay as you can see that's the CPU H5 that's the memory, this board has 50 520 megabytes of RAM and this is the chip it has a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and this is also the chip and of course it has an HDMI interface you have a 13, uh, 13 pin header interface here basically you can use it to gain an earphone interface to USB interfaces TV out microphone and IR all on the same pins here and you have a, also a 26 pin header interface here but I need to solder it to the board so that's something I need to do also you have a debug interface here CSI interface here an OTG interface here from the side as you can see that's for the power you need to use a 5 volts 2 amps maximum power supply unit with a standard USB to micro USB cable and as you can see it comes with a pretty simple flexible uh, external antenna but you can also buy a different antenna more serious one so that's also included so you have a, an onboard antenna connection also very nice going to the back side on the back you have the EMMC you have an 8 uh, gigabyte GB EMMC and a micro uh, SD card slot here socket on in the side you can see here to load the operating system but of course you better burn it on the EMMC chip again it's an 8GB EMMC storage 
and also you have a sticker here pi 0 plus it's called a plus 2 sorry so that's my correction to this board name plus 2 so this one is a quad core based H5 SOC and it runs Ubuntu, Linux, uh, other operating systems including uh, Android version 4.4 OS and that's it and I'll show you another board you can buy as an option also from Orange Pie store so that's an option if you want to use all the functions this 13 pin uh, interface can offer so that's the expansion card option so it connects here to the pins and basically what you gain by using this board you gain two USB interfaces here, version 2 audio and video interface, onboard microphone and IR receiver here so it's a pretty nice addition you can see the design, pretty smart so that's an option you don't have to buy it you can uh, solder the pins here and connect the, uh, directly to them but if you want to use it uh, you can buy it of course very nice idea so basically the two boards should fit into the case this very small case so it's a great option if you want to you build a NAS server or any Linux based server very small, very compact very cool design, the case so you can buy both of them or buy them separately from Orange Pi AliExpress so it's a pretty cool idea so that's the kit I hope you enjoyed my quick overview of this uh, kit thanks for watching and bye Everybody, welcome back. In this part of the review, I'm going to show you how the Orange Pi uh, 0 Plus 2 fits inside this case, along with the expansion card, which gives you extra interfaces, such as the two USB interfaces, video audio, and also microphone and IR receiver. So pretty nice idea and concept but first I'm going to show you the heat sink I'm using on this board again you can see here I'm using a black one H5 on the H5 chip so it's very perfect for this board and you can buy it at AliExpress and you can see here there's a sticker beneath it so it's, you can glue it for, to the chip so there's a glue here very good uh, heat sink the measurements of this heat sink uh, the height 7 millimeters length 14 millimeters so an option also you can use this type of heat sink and cover both chips here this is the memory and this is the H5 but because both chips are almost at the same height you can cover them both with this aluminium uh, pretty long heat sink so that's an option and you can cool all this, also this chip along with the H5 and that's it and on the back you can also use a thermal pad basically it's a plate without the fins so without any cooling fins so you can also use it here this is the EMMC again just a few ideas so 
how to assemble both boards inside the case. First you open it, the case, you have the upper cover of course, and you have screws here and also you have uh, round stickers, basically like legs for the box, so you can uh, use it maybe to cover here the, uh, the screws bolts here so also a nice idea so first of all what you need to do is to take the expansion card put it inside the case so the interfaces could fit well and here you have ear and an additional all ear for two screws so after you use them then you connect the upper board and use additional four screws ear, ear and ear so that's the final result and about the antenna if you wish to use the antenna, it's highly recommended. Of course, you can buy a better one than this uh, wired type uh, flexible antenna. And you, you should drill a hole here on the back or on the side because you can't pass the wire. So, just an idea. And that's basically it how you assemble both boards inside this case. Thanks for watching and bye. Back to another part of my review and today you can see the VR Linux and uh, you can see the desktop this is the uh, VR Linux based on XFC you can see here the system information and it works pretty well for a quad core uh, board I've also pre-installed the office So it works really good, reasonably well, and of course with more uh, better cooling, with better heat sink. If you are not using the expansion card, uh, you can also add a bigger heat sink for better cooling. So it should work a lot better, and that's it basically. Works okay. Also, Wi-Fi works, you can see all the access points here, so it does work. Right now, the consumption of this board just in a lightweight uh, operation mode is about 4.3 watts right now. So it works good. So this is the VM Linux. Uh, the browser didn't work for, for me, this one. The default browser, for some reason I get an error. So I've installed uh, Firefox and it does work. Okay, this right now is the default um, browser. So I, because I've installed the Firefox. So internet also works. What I suggest also is buying a decent Wi-Fi antenna, not the one included with this kit, because with the kit you get a wired type of antenna, very simple, so you need to buy a decent Wi-Fi antenna, 
and it should work, the internet should work also better. So the system works okay, okay plus for a board with 520 megabytes of RAM. So pretty good. Also you have some basic apps, I've also installed a few others, so this is the file manager. So this is the Linux. So I hope you enjoyed my quick preview of the system. And thanks for watching and bye. So right now you can see I'm in Ubuntu login uh, screen. I'll try to log in. As a super user, root user. Okay, right now you can see the desktop. Here you can see the Wi-Fi. It recognizes the access points also. So I have Wi-Fi. And here you have all the apps, multimedia, internet. And office. Also, office loads pretty okay. You also have development uh, tools here, pre-installed, and few apps are also installed. So this desktop environment is based on XFCE. And can, can show you your system information so you can see. So, this is basically the system, also works pretty good. So, I hope you enjoy my overview of this Ubuntu system image. Thanks for watching, and of course, I'm logging out and shutting down. Thanks for watching and bye.